Hello Scorpio, welcome to your almost daily love reading. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I'm really grateful for your love and support. Hope everyone is doing well. And Scorpio, please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it is impossible for each and every one of you to resonate, okay? Time is an illusion in tarot, so this reading could resonate with you in the past, currently, or in the future. All right, Scorpio, let's find out what are your love messages today. Spirits and angels, please show me. Oh, these wants to, these want to come out. Show me important, accurate love messages for Scorpio today. Show me more. Okay, I'll do three rows. Oh, that's painful. Three of swords. Scorpio, please don't forget that roles can be reversed here. It could either be you or the other person you are dealing with or thinking about, okay? It's very clear that I feel like mm -hmm, a connection has ended, okay? You've got the tower in reverse here, so definitely something shocking, something unexpected has happened. Um, possibly the party situation for some of you. Third party may not always mean another lover, but it could also mean external factors or internal factors, friends or family meddling into this connection. Whatever the case is, I feel like um, this connection ended in a very painful, painful heartbreak, okay? So I got the two of cups in reverse. I feel like someone here, Scorpio, please don't forget that um, I have to remind you roles can be reversed, okay? So don't get angry with me if I was to say you or them, just in case. But we've got the Nine of Cups here. So what I'm seeing here is someone is definitely very self-serving, very selfish, very greedy, self-centered, self-indulgent. Um, and they made a choice here, okay, with a Wheel of Fortune. I feel like um, I've never actually actually read Wheel of Fortune as a choice, but it is a choice because um, this compass, you can actually, you know, it's constantly spinning and it could spin in any, any ways. And in tarot, we believe in free will. So someone could have spun it, you know, to towards themselves, okay, self-serving, um, because the Wheel of Fortune reverse, you know, it could also mean feeling stuck or luck, luck not being on your side or on their side, but I'm sensing with the Nine of Cups below it, it's much more, it has something to do with, you know, someone wanting it, some someone wanting something to go their way, but not in a how do you say, but in a very selfish way, okay? So I feel like that could have made this connection um, ended with the Two of Cups in reverse here. But definitely, it does, uh, it does show that someone here is feeling very stuck, okay, with the fact that this is over and still going through a heartbreak. I think Scorpio yesterday, your reading was really positive. Possibly this is for another group of Scorpio, okay? Um, I do your reading almost every day, so it's impossible for you to resonate each and every time. But the tower is in reverse here, so it looks like um, someone might want to like do some damage control here and sneak their way back in to your life with the Seven of Swords. But the Seven of Swords could also indicate someone who has been a, you know, could have been very sneaky, cheating, lying, and Ace of Wands is in reverse. I feel like they have the intention to start something elsewhere, okay? But luck is actually not on their side. I feel like they got caught. Although the Seven of Swords is in an upright position, um, it's just a, you know, a tower moment waiting to happen, okay? For them to actually get caught. Uh, tower moment, meaning something shocking, and they're, they're surprised, actually. I feel like they're surprised that they are planned, didn't quite go their way. I feel like they have been found out. Um, it's based on definitely their selfishness and greediness here. Ace of Wands is in reverse. So to me, it's indicating that they're not 
they try to pull a fast one but not successful okay not successful and there is a five of pentacles in reverse too it looks like yeah again definitely sensing that someone might want to come right back in you know um because maybe they feel like they were being left out in the cold whether it's you or them okay and then they want with it being reversed they want to get back into the house okay that means trying to come back and i feel like um page of swords in reverse could also indicate stalking stalking um you stalking them or them stalking you okay but we've also got the knight of swords right here oops knight of swords i feel like someone is very angry okay someone is very angry but this is also a very fast movement kind of a card um with the knight of swords and the seven of swords being both right here in an upright position i mean like both going this way actually moving towards this way i'm sensing this is this could be someone in your past who's making their way back into your life trying to but i'm not sure how sincere they are okay how genuine they are they it's like this sneaky energy here they have an ulterior motive they've been watching you i'm sensing scorpio or again rose can be reversed here okay someone is watching someone here okay and they decided to make up some sort of a plan here to come right back in possibly wanting a second chance but the second chance i feel like is not um sincere okay i hate to say this i feel like they want a second chance but for selfish reasons mm -hmm. yeah i feel like with the page of swords in reverse could also mean like someone could have found something out through some stalking for some of you okay and then they got really angry and you know because a knight of swords could also mean harsh words um okay let's see impulsiveness or harsh words but let's see um so we've got the justice in reverse so someone is not being treated fairly here that is for sure and four pentacles um, I feel like someone here um, is trying to hold on, hold on to this connection, okay? Uh, still not quite letting it go yet, but we've got the King of Swords here, so it looks like someone has cut somebody off, okay? Or this is a very stern energy, uh, very strict, no BS, you know, no nonsense, no nonsense energy. Scorpio could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Um, very strong air sign here that I'm seeing, but also could be dealing with some fixed signs and Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Yeah, definitely strong, strong air sign, but we also got the wands here. So that's Leo, Sagittarius and uh, Aries. All right, Scorpio, but what I'm seeing last card here, seven of wands in reverse. Someone possibly has decided to, will decide to... Um, mm, I feel like it's more like someone is wanting someone to put their guards down, if that makes sense, so they can make their way back in here. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, uh, player energy, non-committal. So Scorpio, I'm sensing this is somebody from your past, your ex, maybe wanting to, you know, move back in towards uh, you to come right back into your life. Um, possibly asking for a second chance here, but... Um, the Nine of Cups, although it could mean wish fulfillment, but uh, I'm not reading it very positively because of the cards surrounding it. So what I'm seeing, it has something to do more with if they try to come back in, it's for selfish reasons, okay? This is something you need to watch out for. Okay, Scorpio, this is your reading. I hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. And also, I do only emergency reading. My information is in the description box below if you'd like to book me, if nothing else. I hope to see you tomorrow as I post your video almost every single day. Take care, Scorpio. Bye.